think Tiffany is smart. I think on this game on some of the decisions, I don't know. Uh, agree I mean, with. she can't swim. She did another trivia. But she didn't say nothing about physicality. She said mastermind. Wes is a mastermind. I think she didn't she do anything on trivia. She hasn't been pulling strings politically. She been on that rookie alliance. Don't try to play her. She been She's on that rookie streets, though. She was the first one to the flag. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to our channel we are back with a new episode of the challenge usa season two this is for episodes five and six from this past thursday sunday um i thought this was a good two episodes i thought it was good <laughs> I don't like episode six, but um, it was too production dramatic and all of that. You didn't like episode six? I thought it was I didn't. Good. I didn't. Um, but I do think overall it was good. You didn't like the episode. You didn't like <laughs> No, I did. I did. It was certain parts. I was, just, I was like, okay, whatever. But overall, I think we got some gameplay. I, yeah. I like what I saw. Yeah. So we are back from uh, Lewis and Amanda getting eliminated, and Chris and Desi are back in the game, and Desi is now on the blue team. Um, and we see – this is just – okay. Well, uh, well okay, let me, let's keep going so down. At the, so at the top of the episode – Cassie yeah, I was like, now I'm about to say, we see them, but I have something to say, but I will leave it back to the <laughs> – this one part I will leave it for later on, but yeah, we come when we come back in the house. Chris is doing a lot. Well, not even just Chris. Uh, we start with Cassidy. Yeah, it was like suspicious on like the vote. She was like, "That's what I was going to uh, say." That's one of the ones who voted for me. You like da 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 da, and we like okay. Well, I was like okay, like like you make yeah. this. <laughs> I don't understand. Like <laughs> it, it's just it's that's all like, I was going to say. Expect, like I like people are going to vote for you. Like it's. Really, the... like Wes voted for me. Okay, you didn't have a relationship with Wes. Wes voted for you, and yeah. she's like, I got such a thing about Wes. Like, oh my gosh, can't believe Wes coming for me. Yeah, you a rookie, just like everybody else in the game. I don't understand what's happening. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, Wes is like, I can't believe y'all did that. Y'all left me blind. Y'all blindsided not... me because y'all left me vulnerable. So she's obviously gonna know it's me. <laughs> Yeah, they got Wes out. What not? I mean, what they did was good for their game, but yeah. for her, she's like Wes is coming for me. It wasn't even Wes plan to go for you. <laughs> Dan acted to vote for you. Yeah. He was doing what he thought he was supposed to do. <laughs> to act him. It's just so crazy how I don't even understand it. Yeah. And then it's like two people voted for you. So why are you fresh up, uh, stuck on like Wes? Like that's another person you need to be trying to figure out because. <laughs> <laughs> no, that blue team, uh, they be voting their own people in, so yeah, yeah. Um, but so yeah. then we get into like the whole Chris of it all, where he is just like mad at Monty for like he just mad at it. I don't think initially, I don't think initially he was targeting Monty and Tyler, but he came in like he was being very much like uh, how I would say. Corey in his rookie season, just yeah. talking and like and he, he said was, it. He's like, I don't know if it's the right move or the wrong move, but I would yeah, just I, I <laughs> if you got to ask yourself that, you're making the wrong yeah. move. <laughs> yeah, he was being very like he tell like being like he come in he, he coming in hot like y'all should have got me out when y'all had the opportunity. What what? The daily challenge and it's called uh um, box. Each player has a giant box with a puzzle inside of it that is that matches their body weight. Uh, they must carry it through a course, and along the way, there will be several puzzle stations. If they choose to start a puzzle, they can't abandon it. And if they decide to um, skip a puzzle, they have. Well, it wasn't really clear about like the whole skipping thing, but uh, well, if they okay. skip the puzzle, they have to keep going essentially with their uh, cases. So essentially, yeah. to get rid of a case, you have to do a puzzle essentially. Yeah, whatever um, case you got to get rid of inside of that case is a puzzle or whatever yeah and you can choose to just run through with all your boxes um but you have to carry all that weight yeah and then only one person can stop at each station and it's first come first serve so the 
uh, first team that gets to uh, the finish line wins um, regardless of the amount of boxes they have left. Yeah, so the first checkpoint had three stations. It was the only checkpoint with three stations. So every, the first checkpoint, every team stopped. Um, yeah. Green, red, and blue. Um, so after that, after they do that, because they have so little people, they only have, I think, five people. Um, yeah. The green team, West tells them we should just power through, keep going, don't stop at all anymore. Everybody else had like, how many people? Seven, eight, seven people. Uh, on the team. They only got five, so they only have to worry about Monty's. Then after that, we can, you know, we can help each other out. So I think yeah. I thought that was, a, I mean, that, that strategy could go left or right with that. Yeah. But it was smart. And then they did the chain link. And I was like, y'all better. Because, you know, some people probably would have just kept it. You know, you carry your own thing. But no, it's like, we're going to do it as a team. Everybody grab each other's and let's go. Let's push through. Um, so, yeah, like you said, it was risky. Um, so Chris and Fessy, uh, they do their puzzles for their respective teams. Um, basically, the blue team is the first team to get a lead. Uh, but then... Blue team is the first team to stop to do the second puzzle, uh, which basically allows Green, once they complete their first puzzle, Monty's puzzle, to uh, stay in the lead, honestly. Um, and like I said, it was pretty much, it wasn't a blowout, but Green it's team was pretty much, yeah. It was, I, the I was worried at first because it wasn't a blowout because, like, when they showed the camera, you could clearly see. Yeah, there was only like a right few behind steps the behind them. Yeah. yeah, but then when they showed the finish line, the finish line was right in front of them. So, <laughs> unless, unless the green, the uh, blue team got like some super uh, like speed all of a sudden, it I just knew the green team was going to win that, which they did. Yeah. The green team takes that daily challenge. I mean, mostly because they didn't stop, which was good. Um, and I think once they get back in the house, I will say this season... Wes is really fighting for these vets. <laughs> he is really fighting. And I, I mean, I appreciate it. I mean, I don't understand everybody else's thoughts on it as far as the rest of the vets, but he is fighting for them. He and he try he not like he trying to figure out a way to strategize to get them all through. Yeah. And I think that's good. More or less, but I, I see what you're saying. He is. At least I don't think he yeah. is. I think he just has numbers with the vet so they just well that's i'm saying he has numbers with them but even with numbers um they are not fighting for him <laughs> well i won't say that I, I don't i don't agree with that so when they actually in the nomination they are west basically said that they want to go for the blue team uh only the blue team and yeah. that they essentially want to go survivor <laughs> and he asks, uh, basically, he asks Monty and Tyler uh, for a temporary ceasefire uh, so they can uh, nominate the Survivor players. Um, I, think was basically put Chris. I think it was just mostly so they can nominate Chris, and he already got beef with Cassidy, and Chris then already put a random target on his back for, for whatever reason he did that. Yeah. But I think that the real, like, but I think the ceasefire was more so of the best versus them type of ceasefire. No, no, yeah, I agree with that. But I, but when I when I was saying like, did he say that to them like that he want to make Survivor versus Big Brother? I was asking that because, um, Michaela literally he said it to Johnny and Dusty. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying that he said that to them in the uh, nominations because in the uh, nominations for some reason I don't know why Michaela was sh straight up saying directly. I don't want to vote for Survivor. I was like, girl, you can't say that. <laughs> if I was like, what did say that, did he? But no, when she was when she was like, she tried to protect her Survivor, you got to do a workaround. You can't say, yeah. I don't want to vote for no Survivor people. So you want me to vote for Big Brother people? I was like, no, I think she was just saying, <laughs> I get what she, she I think she didn't want Survivor girls up there. That was her main thing. She didn't want Survivor girls because they already pretty much knew Chris was going in. She was okay with that. It was just when it came down to the female side is where she was just like, now you're putting me in a uh, position because Desi, Alyssa L, and um, somebody else. Uh, she's all uh, she's working with them. So Cassie. yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, Tyler and Monty know what off their back. They vote Chris, 
and basically Wes was like, Cassidy already said my name, so let's go ahead and vote for her. He is putting her in in response to her kind of making it known that she don't like him and I need to get Wes out and stuff like that. But um, okay. So Chris and Cassidy are the official votes for the yeah. green team. Um, so we do see some flirtation going on in the house uh, with Cassidy and Josh. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Alyssa as Tyler. Mm -hmm. uh, we also still kind of got the Sebastian Tory thing. So love is in the air um, all around. And mm -hmm. Cassidy also does open up about how she lost her sister due to overdosing. And um, she shares that with Corey and Fessy. Um, Corey yeah, did mention his daughter, of course. Um, but yeah, it was a very touching moment. Um, and kind of, I was kind of worried for a minute because I was like, uh oh, she's telling all her story. That what happens when you tell your story. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I like that they're letting us know the newer players more. I feel like in the previous seasons with the rookies, we don't get to know much about the rookies because well, it's, it's kind of the rookies' fault well in previous I mean, they be, yeah, it'd be so many rookies and then they don't they be gone real fast. <laughs> so, so, but, you, I mean, with them telling more about these rookies in particular, maybe we'll see them on, on more on different challenges and stuff like that. And I also feel like they have to showcase, because this is a CBS show, so they have to yeah. showcase their CBS people. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Like, I forget. I forget. This is a regular season of the challenge, frankly. I'm sorry. <laughs> if everybody from the challenge is here, it's the regular season. I do not consider. I mean, I know it's a CBS show, but Okay. The vets uh, and Josh decide to do what they're calling Operation Hat Trick. Uh, basically, Tori states that instead of being the target to kind of hide behind the votes of the secret votes and by just randomly choosing a name out of a hat and voting for that person, that way no one knows where the votes essentially are is coming from. Um, basically, starting up organized chaos. Yeah, I think they did really well. Um, that was, I think it was a good, I think it was a really good plan. And so they, like you said, they they're gonna pull out of a hat um, some of the different rookies' names. Um, and they're not even gonna tell each other who they picked and who they voted for. Yeah. Also throws an element in there because they don't know. And yeah. so, um, also they, we do see that bananas in the secret vote decides to vote for yeah. this. Yeah, when they um, go to the vote in a secret vote, Bananas randomly decides to put Fessy in there, which throws even more, you know, confusion or whatever into it. He just doing it just because. So basically, we get to the arena. The secret votes are as follows. Tiffany has four. Fessy has one. Desi has one. Alyssa L has one. Sebastian mm -hmm. has one. Chanel has two. And Dusty has four. Yeah, and basically, great. everybody's looking like... Well, who, who, where are these most coming from? <laughs> um, and yeah, so basically, TJ puts all the names in a hopper, uh, letting him know, uh, letting them know that Chris is safe and that Alyssa L will be going down against, yeah, Kathy. yeah. And I, so this pairing is a good pairing, but also was a little sad about this pairing because I like, I actually do like Cassidy, I, I think, like the the like her assumption about Wes like coming for her I think is a little incorrect because he is only because he feels like she is but I actually really like her I think she's I think she is good for the show and everything but I also like uh, this season I like Alyssa L like the first I feel like she didn't do nothing this season maybe oh, she... <laughs> oh but the first maybe that's why USA, like <laughs> first season USA I feel like she didn't get to do much but I think this season she was she could have been a good um, person on whichever team and I think she did do a good like I, she wasn't like seriously like super yeah, she played amazing up. in the competition but she was a main source of these rookie alliance she was really I think integral in that yeah I was gonna say she played a better game this season versus last season Cassidy versus Alyssa I didn't like this elimination uh, one but this elimination is called blockheads basically each person will be locked inside uh, her own cage, and then they have to go around uh, using their momentum to uh, around the arena to collect uh, flag poles oh, through a little hatch, and then they must lay their flags on a light box, and they will reveal the code to their cage. 
And then from there, they can escape the cage and um, press the buzzer to win the elimination. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the first 30 minutes, Alyssa was still in the middle because they shot that edit where her was in that middle. And then one clip later, she all the way had a flagpole. You can't convince me she was able to move that. Yeah, because, uh, well, yeah, she was stuck for a minute because Cassidy was on flag three, almost on flag three, and she hadn't even had one. <laughs> but then she did, they did towards the very, very end. They were, She was able to tie it up, but by the time she tied up, even though it was four, four, yeah. Cassidy was just, it was about to get out of the cage by that point. Yeah. So it was tied technically, but she was already more on to, about to get out, Um, so it wasn't really tied. Um, even yeah. though the editing tried, they tried to make it seem like it was close, but I don't think it was that close. Um, I yeah. feel like I think we knew Cassidy was going win that one towards where the numbers was going. But yeah, so Cassidy wins and Alyssa is going home. Um, and then when they do the TJ asks if she wants to defect, um, Cassidy decides to stay with the blue team. Um, since it yeah, is she the team. Together. Yeah, she began that she built the team. Um, but yeah, that's how the episode ends. Start off episode six. We are back from eliminations where Cassidy won, and they're reiterating again her beef with Wes. Um, and Wes is worried about it. She's worried about him, uh, vice versa. Um, and like I said, I think it's very similar to um the Josh beef. Um, but in this instance, I will say that Wes is also coming for her, but it's a yeah. little to take there. Um um, okay, and then <laughs> uh, just a it's a great moment. Uh Dusty is very it was, it was, you said upset. I don't know, it's a different word for it. It was it was, he was, it throwing was a temper, he was throwing a little uh temper tantrum. It was out of control, just the way he was acting. I was like, Dusty, yeah. usually Dusty is here to have a real silly, goofy time and be real funny. And I was like, okay, Dusty, very lighthearted. Um, very, you know, it, but this one, I was like, you just, it's too much. He's very, uh, so yeah. he's directing most of his anger at Tiffany, I think, because she's standing in front of him. But his conclusion is that Tiffany, Alyssa L, Alyssa S, um, and I can't remember who the fourth person is, but these people voted for him because of something that Alyssa said. Um, but if he was thinking, Alyssa S could not even vote this. this <laughs> uh, she was not one of the votes, but uh, and Tiffany is telling her, telling him straight up, I did not vote for you. I voted for Sebastian. And Sebastian, no, I voted for him. So <laughs> I did not vote for you. He's like, I don't believe you. You're a liar. <laughs> I don't believe anything you're saying. And it was just crazy. I was like, Dusty, you need to calm down because <laughs> even if you believe that she voted for you, this is a game. You're not working with her. Everybody is both. Plus, she's on your team too, so why would she vote for you? Yeah, I mean, she can like she can vote for you, but I would assume the first thing is she's on my team. Why would she vote for me? That would be my. Why do you think she voted for you? What would it benefit her (laughs) too? But even if she did, if she did vote for you, which she didn't, you need to. You are showing too much. Why would you? you, I would have been like, oh, next time I really vote for him because what is this? Um, we also then get a call from Wes's wife, a, sh- a video call. Wes has a video call with his wife um, who is pregnant and he's just talking about, he's, he's emotional and saying about how, um, you know, his wife is, he's away from his wife. He feels kind of guilty and embarrassed that he even left to come play the game again. Um, but, um, and then he mentions how, uh, you know, he's going to be a father and he's nervous about it. So yeah, so we just kind of get some insight into how he's feeling regarding that. Um, two things um so Wes did state that this is his last season uh which is kind of why he wanted to do it uh and two I kind of already knew that Wes Head wouldn't really be in it uh because he's going to be a father like nobody wants to be I mean I wouldn't say nobody wants to be like you don't want to be on the challenge away for however long especially if you're thinking about when like I mean yeah you want to win to get the money but at the same time you're going for like a good three or four months depending on how pregnant his wife is like, you don't want that to be aligned with, I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't aligned with the due date, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to yeah. be gone for all that. So, yeah. Yeah, and he was saying he's worried. Then she's by herself, too. So, if I was Wes, I guess I could see where the embarrassment would have, I want to say embarrassment, uh, I would have used that word, but I can kind of see where he's coming from with taking a call and actually leaving his wife, because, you know, yeah. Yeah, I think it's more so him beating himself up about something like that. Um, 
and you know you getting a call in the challenge house it could be bad news you don't know and and having someone um like you having a wife that's pregnant could make you even more worried so i understand let's get into the daily challenge which is called high q which is trivia i was very excited for this trivia challenge um, i was excited and then i saw it and was highly disappointed <laughs> not just disappointed okay. this, i want to say i would say this is probably the worst Worst yeah, trivia? this is probably the worst trivia that we had in a while. Yeah, I, first of all, I think maybe number one. Okay, well, let me let's just give the breakdown of the trivia to understand what I'm about to say. But so it's trivia challenge. Each team, all members of the team, are on their own like pane or a uh, pane of glass, um, like a glass floor, let's say, in the air. And every time they get asked a question, you get it right, it goes to the next team, and they get it right, it goes go on and so forth but if you get it wrong you the glass will tilt a little bit each time um uh, and there you cannot actually like hold on to anything on the on, there's nothing to hold on to on the glass so you're just sticking by you like the stickiness of your skin your body heat everything that's like the that. glass exactly so <laughs> so yeah so um that so the purpose is i mean sorry the point is whoever has somebody left on at the end is the winner no matter if you'll have one person on the team on a team left on the glass if everybody else in the game is gone then that whole team wins um with this i think the flaw that might have made it more interesting is that i think the glass tilted too much each question i don't think it gave them too much opportunities if you get two i didn't have a problem with the way it was tilted one i feel like it needed to be uh even playing field uh, blue team had too many people on there. Like, they come had, on now, they was body to body. Like, even <laughs> if even if they did a like a big tilt, let's say they lose two people, they still got five. If green lose two, we only got three. And if red lose two, we only got like four. So it's like it was just uh, it should have been like either choose your best player, three, three, three from each team, and like that, or like so. I just yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that the blue team like, had uh, all those people up there. Yeah, I I kind of uh, I kind of agree with that. I think they should probably do like how um, Survivor does it. The whole tilted thing, I didn't even like mine. Maybe if it was like a swing situation instead of like a panel where it was like, not even like a swing, but like they kind of like tilt, like they got they sit it on like I guess it is a swing, like they're on like a swing, and then like if they get it wrong, it still tilts. So eventually, like, they're hanging on, and then if they let go, they fall into a yeah. or something like that. Yeah. That would have made it, and then it would have been individual, but still a team. That way, even if we did have 15,000 people up there, it's all about endurance and, like, stamina, like, instead of just, like, sticking up, like, it just, it wasn't fair. Like, it just wasn't well, fair. I didn't have a problem with it, actually, tilted. I just thought the tilted should have been more, like, mm. The, the, it was like this, and then it was just I like think they wanted, I think they thought that people will last up there a little longer. So yeah, it like, literally like, one, two, three, two, five people went down. And after the trivia, it's said and done. Blue team won, but um, but like we said, the blue team won that one, and immediately, uh, once they get back to the house, West is worried, which he should be because a lot of the blue team is. Um, it's a lot of rookies, um, or like, not rookies, but you know, a lot They're of survivors too. Big brother survivors, and um, the only pe people that are vets are on that team are Johnny and Tori. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, Wes asks Tori to like try to save him. Uh, Tori and Johnny meet him like, well, can't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, they was like, nothing we can do. <laughs> the uh nomination, blue nominations. Um, it's pretty much uh cut and dry. They're like West definitely for the boys, and the girls Tiffany. ended up being Tiffany. Um, and then when they put the the balls with their names on it, Tiffany took it on chin. Like Tiffany took it pretty well. Um, but I also I, think he was giving a little delusion. She's like me and West are the masterminds. And I'm like Tiffany, you've been playing the worst game. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wes, before they got to the secret vote, Wes is going around and telling them, asking everybody to vote for a woman. He's like, please vote for a woman. He's like, I'm not going to tell you what woman to vote for. He's just like, vote for any woman. He don't care as long as it's a woman. So then that gives him better odds of not having to go. And it could be against Tiffany, which is a smart plan if people listen. But people um, uh, pretty much have their minds made up. They're like, we're voting for Wes. Um, yeah, they're like, we're voting for Wes. Um, I guess I'm guessing it's because he is a vet because literally in this game, in this particular game, Wes hasn't done anything besides be a vet. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's been yeah. other where Wes has like, oh, you like, oh, Wes is being snaky. Wes is doing it. But literally this game, besides him being a vet, there's nothing he has done against anybody for real in this house. You know what I mean? So yeah. that is the only reason I could think of, um, which, you know, fair play that's the reason but other than that there's no other reason to vote him if he was really if he was in here and he was only working with the other people then i'm sure they would they wouldn't consider him but he's not he's actually actually out here actively pulling for the vets to not go in which is good for his game so you know he's not good for these people game after west has like campaigned to everybody like please vote a woman he's also gone uh and they they everybody votes as well most people are not gonna yeah. Um, do what he says um, but um, you know he's he's sad about it he's talking in the room to he's talking to Johnny and he's awesome. in there too about you know he, he starts crying and he's like very emotional because he's like I'm about to be a father and you know this might be my last time ever playing and I can I understand his vulnerability in that moment but De De uh, Desi was mentioning like you know Everybody loves a sad story, and Wes is here. So she basically says it's performative, like he's not serious, like this. But I don't think it was performative because there was no audience besides Johnny in there, Johnny and Dusty. I think he, it was a little bit of both. Because apparently, I it it was. Be like, if people were like, I'm pretty sure people were coming in, checking in, or whatever the case may be. Because if Desi wasn't in the room and she know about it, it had to be like longer than what it was shown. So, but I also think like it was some genuineness in it, but I also think he capitalized on the moment itself because he knew he was about to go in. Yeah. So I think it was both. Okay, but I felt it was very genuine. I felt bad for I, Wes. Like I said, I feel like there was genuine in it, but it's also like I'm a milk, like I'm already like I'm, I'm going in, so I might as well just milk it and try to see what you know get these votes swung. So we get to the arena, and the secret votes are to Alyssa, one Michaela, one Chanel, and seven Dusty. <laughs> so, like I said, um, pretty I'm much uh, Dusty to be like, who, who which one y'all voted for me? <laughs> I was waiting for him. So, uh, they go into Hopper, is Weston Dusty, um. The elimination called Crankshaft. I didn't like this elimination either. Uh, one, uh, Basically, one player stands on a giant wheel, while the other uses a series of cranks to try to knock him off. Uh, they each get a chance to go on top, and whoever stays on the longest wins. Yeah. Um, so Wes basically methodically unties the cranks. The first one didn't really give him anything, and then the second one he did. He was able to knock Dusty off the platform. Um, and then when Dusty goes, he's not moving methodically. He's moving he more so like... Frantic. He was just pulling yeah. stuff. And like Wes said, I like that was a little... Conf People were... Seemed very sure that, you know, Dusty was moving really fast. But then I remember what Wes said. I don't think so. I, I, get it. I knew he was going to say that. But I don't think so because literally when when um because if so my thing is Wes so let's go through Dusty small da 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 he's cranking uh the uh, uh tying it Dusty was able to give him some advice he was able to get the second one off because he essentially skipped the first again I don't even know why they didn't design this set differently because he already saw Wes do it. And they didn't change nothing about it. So the second crank was the one that he really essentially needed. So uh, he skipped the first one altogether and just goes straight to tying the, uh, uh, untying the second one. And no, then he, he was he able to... He did the first one? No, I'm saying he untied the first one, but he didn't like crank it or anything like Wes did. He went straight, he put it on there and went straight to the second one. 
Oh, okay, okay. Um, so he got the second one, and then he was able to knock West off. The reason I say it's rigged is because I just don't believe that West was essentially West. West wins. I will get back to the win of it all in a second, but you can't you can't tell me Dusty was not faster than West. You can't I tell can me. See that. I'm telling you that right now because when I was watching it, I before they I'm telling you before they said the vote. Oh, and and oh, West <laughs> took forever to untie that. You know what? Even if Dusty he took forever took longer, to untie it. Dusty, the way the edit even if was, Dusty it, took longer to untie, or whatever, Dusty only took longer on one actually, and then he was able to get West off faster. So you can't tell me that those times thirty seven seconds. I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you when when when. So I when I was watching it, literally when I was watching it, and okay, so they did both people. Um, Wes knocked Dusty off, then Dusty does his thing. He's going real frantic, and he puts it on. He knocks Wes off. Wes uh, fell when he didn't. He got caught up on the footwork. I don't know, and he fell. Um, and so Wes has his head down, and he's like, you know, down and out. Um, and when he was down and out, I was thinking. We should wait for the call because to me, I was watching it and I was like, it don't seem like it was clear cut to me. Everybody seemed like, like, oh my God, Dusty did that so fast. And when I was watching it, I was like, that thing didn't seem that it seemed the same to me. When I was watching, I was like, it seemed the same. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying Dusty moved progressively faster than Wes. What I'm saying is, I don't think there's 30 seconds difference between the two because Wes struggled with that first one before he even went to the second one. Wes put that second one on and still struggled. He struggled with that first one for like five seconds. It wasn't that long. Jeez, it was five that seconds. Even fell on that longer, even if he's even with the five seconds struggle. Well, I, that's what I said. I agree, one. but that's what I'm saying. I agree. I think West fell off the log. If we want to go from time, they put the second wheel on to time falling off the log. Yes, I feel like West fell faster than Dusty, but the timer for them not. I think. Dusty took longer on those. And months. I get that, but even with the knots, I still feel like Dusty moved faster because I he know. didn't struggle on something that West struggled on. West and West didn't things. struggle on something that Dusty struggled on. Dusty struggled. No, on but I'm saying there's a key difference between West and Dusty. I, mean, I think Dusty won, and I'm standing by it. I'll stand by it. No, that. I don't think Dusty won. I Dusty just won. I stand by that. If you want to call a fair shot, I don't think 30 seconds. Um, 37 seconds was the difference between the two. I'll call it BS on that. And I think Dusty uh, won. I think this elimination was performative because Johnny Bananas had no right to come down there before TJ even made that call to give West L even a well, I, No, I no it was given performative. It was given well, West was supposed to leave. My friend is down there and my friend is sad because we think he's leaving. He think he's leaving. My friend is down there with okay, his head. That's a call. Well, they thought it was clear cut. He went down there. I don't think no, I don't think that was like performative. I, I do not think that literally, literally, I shed a little tear. I was like, this is gross because I, I, I know. Y'all tell know. us, y'all tell us in the comments who y'all think won this elimination, Dusty or Wes. <laughs> but no, when Johnny came down, I thought that was a, a nice moment was, because you know whatever. Johnny was in the room with Wes was crying. He know how much it's meaning him. They've been playing this game for twenty years. It. Like I said, and it was cute. Might be it was cute. I appreciate. You think it's fake? Why you think it's cute and fake? No, it was real. Two things can be true at the same time. No. <laughs> so uh, everybody thinks Dusty wins. When Wes says his goodbye speech in his head, and then TJ says that Wes is actually the winner, and he decides to defect to the blue team. Taking Chris' spot and now making the blue team an all challenge event team, essentially. But yeah, so yeah. But this episode was good. Uh, these two, this block of episodes, five and six, was good for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so please uh, leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you thought of the video, and we will see you on our next one. Peace.